on CBS put out a list of the top 10 free agent NFL wide receivers for this season. And some of these I did not even realize were free agents. Now, Allen Robinson, we knew that he was. They are estimating his market value. He is the number one free yep. agent wide receiver. They are estimating his market value at $20 million. So the, so the Bears are considering tagging him, which would infuriate him. Badly. I think so as well. That yeah. would that would destroy that relationship, which is already destroyed anyway. I want to see Allen Robinson play with a legit quarterback. I almost don't care where he goes. I, so I, I, I a, really don't. Yeah. I just want to see him play with one guy that's better than Mitchell Trubisky, Nick Foles, and Blake Bowles. That's it. Like like an above average fifteenth or better quarterback in the league. That's all I want. Yeah. Uh, Chris Godwin. Is number two on this list. His market value seventeen point one million. I love Godwin. I um, love guy. That dude's yeah. got to get healthy. But man, when he's healthy, he is real good. Oh yeah, he. I mean, he was making two point two three million a year. He's only twenty four years old. I yeah. I I I think he's absolutely the the second one on here. Kenny Galladay for the Lions is number three here. They're estimating his market value at seventeen million. Um, I mean, he's another another big one. Will Fuller, another big one. Will Fuller at number four for the Texans. They're saying that he's at sixteen point nine million. Uh, if he can stay on the field, he's absolutely a legit option. But man, it, it I don't know. He I don't know. He was officially suspended for six games. He'll need to miss the first game of the twenty twenty one season. Uh, I doubt that's going to hurt his value much. Nope. What could end up hurting his value is the fact that he has not been able to stay healthy. Yeah. Like, that's that's kind of an issue. Juju Smith Schuster, they listed at number five. They're saying he's worth sixteen point one million a year. Uh okay. I mean, it, it, you saw like if you don't have a good quarterback for him, and he's got. I, I listen. It's easy to make fun of Juju because of of how how he played down the stretch, um, and, and and all. I'm not the biggest Juju fan in the world, but I'm also not a hater. I would take every guy on this list other than Fuller over Juju. Yeah. I, would, I love Galladay, I love Godwin, and and I love Robinson a lot more than Juju. And well, all absolutely. those guys, I think, are a lot slower than Juju. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, the, the issue, and in Robinson's space, I think a lot older than Juju, but that's fine. With Juju, if you don't have a good wide or a good quarterback, quarterback like yeah. he is in major trouble. Um, he can't make a quarterback. Robinson yeah. and I think Galladay, I think Galladay is a lot of this too. Yeah. They'll make any quarterback they have a lot better. Yes. I don't think Juju does that. No, I don't think so either. I don't think so at all. Uh, number six, now this is where the drop-off is. Uh, Curtis Samuel, $12.4 yeah. million market value for the Panthers. Uh, he just he didn't do a lot last season. I, I say that. He had 97 targets, 77 receptions, had three touchdowns, 851 receiving yards. Uh, he was just overshadowed by, uh, by those other guys, yeah. um, is what it is. Marvin Jones from the Lions, they're saying he's worth $10.5 million. He's 30 years old. Can you believe Marvin Jones is 30? Well, yeah, I just that amazed me. Like it, I, I didn't feel like he'd been in the league that long, but I feel like he's. I thought he might be older than that. So that's uh, where that's where we're different. Is I I think he's been in the league forever. T. Y. Hilton, number eight. I feel like he's been here forever, but uh, no, T. Y. I do think has been forever. Yeah, he's he's only one year older. Um, yep. So this is what it is. They're saying he's ten million, but uh, this guy can't stay healthy. Man, he had ninety three targets, only fifty six receptions, uh, seven hundred sixty two yards, and five touchdowns. Hang on, hang on. I would like to address something. Okay. So, so we're going to maybe get into the Wentz stuff or not. If you're the Colts and you got $90 million of cap space to spend, because this is what everybody keeps telling me, why not go after Wentz? Because you got $90 million to play with. And you go get three of these guys that all cost $20 million a piece. You go get the top three guys, all right? You let yep. T.Y. go, and you get the top three guys, and you go sign Ryan Fitzpatrick. And you spend a, uh, your first round draft pick or second round draft pick because I don't know if they have a first. That's fine. Uh, your your second round draft pick on the best quarterback available to try to bring in and groom. You don't think that's a Super Bowl team? I think it could be. Like I don't know, what what the hell are we talking about? But bring in Wentz. Let's waste twenty four of that thirty uh, ninety million dollars on a guy that might be good, might not. When you can get Fitz for probably five ten. Come on, man. What are we talking about? I agree. Uh, we got two Load more. up on these guys. If you got $90 million, that don't mean you just piss it away on a guy. Agreed. Corey Davis is number nine. They're saying he's worth $9.8 million. Uh, Corey Davis was okay, you know, at, for, for Tennessee this year. Like, at whatever. Um, he, never, he never shined. Uh, no. And then number 10 is A.J. Green. 
They're saying he's worth about $6 million. That's another guy that has not been able to stay healthy. Uh, and then they, they got a best of the rest here, like Alan Lazard from the Packers, Kendrick Bourne from the 49ers, uh, Antonio Brown, Will Sneed, uh, Demarcus Robinson, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Danny Amendola, uh, he's a guy that's past his prime. Sammy Watkins yeah, is on say, this list as well. These guys are all done. Yeah, these, these guys are all like you can get them for, you know, a couple bags of chips and, you know, a handshake or whatever. But, uh, but yeah, I'm I'm – I'm very curious to see how this free agent market ends up going. But if you are the Colts, yeah, that's certainly or let's like let's close of off with this. That are bad, like the Patriots have a shitload of cap room. I mean, they got a shit ton of cap space. That's yeah. fine. Let's let's draft a guy. Let's not screw this draft up, and let's pick a quarterback that's that's good, that's capable, and let's let's sign three of these guys and let's boom, yeah. that, fixed problem solved. Yeah, it's very easy to do if if you're willing to spend the money. You know, that's that's very very easy to do. Very easy yeah. to do. 